Good day, viewers. My name is Dave Spanda. I'm the facilitator for Mechano Technology M3. Today, we are looking at the topic internal combustion engine. And our learning outcomes are outlined on the board there. The first one, we are supposed to know the types of internal combustion engines. Then, we should be able to define those terms, the stroke, the dead center, the compression ratio, the clearance, and the clearance volume. We should be able to, to define those terms. Then the last, we are going to look at one of those types of the IC engine, which is the four-stroke petrol engine. Right, let's start. So we are starting by looking at the types. The types of IC engine. Right, we have got uh, two major types of IC engine. Right, we have got the diesel engine and the petrol engine. Then under the petrol engine, we have got the two-stroke petrol engine and the four-stroke petrol engine. And also under the diesel engine, we have the two-stroke diesel engine as well as the, the four-stroke uh, diesel engine. So we are saying there are two major types that we are supposed to know in our syllabus of IC engine. Right, we've got uh, that is diesel and petrol engine. Right, under the petrol engine. The same applies to diesel We have the two stroke and the four stroke diesel engine So those are the two major types of our IC engines there Right, now let's move on to the definition Definition of important terms. Definition of important terms. The first term that we are going to look at is the stroke. Right, before, uh, or maybe before we define that, let's just look at our cylinder there. Simplified uh, diagram showing our cylinder. It will be much easier to define these terms knowing how a cylinder looks like. This is a simplified diagram of a cylinder. This is our piston. This, these are our valves. The outlet and the inlet valve. Right, so that is the piston has been in our cylinder. This is the simplified uh, diagram of our cylinder there. Right, so now let's, let's, let's go to our definition. The stroke. The first one we said we are going to define what a stroke is. Right. In our cylinder here, this piston moves up and down. And we call that reciprocating motion. It moves up and down. So 
uh, at any given time, for example, we are going to look at the, the types of strokes there. You find that in the inlet stroke, the piston will be moving down, right? Uh, in the out in the outlet stroke, it will be moving up. So this piston inside the cylinder moves up and down. So when we look at the stroke, we are looking at the distance that is moved by the piston in one direction. That is the stroke. This is the distance. moved by the piston in one direction only. And that is from the top dead center to the bottom. Right, that is uh, our stroke. Then the next term we are supposed to define is the dead center. The dead center is the point in the cylinder where the piston changes direction. The dead center, it is the point in the cylinder where the piston changes direction. As we have already said that our piston moves up and down. So as it moves up, it reaches the top dead center. Then at that top dead center, that's when it will change direction and move down until it reaches the what? the bottom dead center. So we have got two types of dead centers there. We have got two types, the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom dead center. Right, let's move on. Now we are looking at the compression ratio as our Third term. The compression ratio. This is basically the ratio that compares the volume of our air fuel mixture before compression and after compression. That is the, the definition. We are saying it is the ratio of the volume of a fuel mixture before and after after compression right then the last term that you are going to define is the clearance volume. The clearance volume. Right. Let's look at this uh, simplified diagram of our cylinder there. Right. At the top dead center there, when our piston reaches the top dead center, there is some volume that is left there between the, the, the top part of the cylinder and the, and the piston there. The piston does not reach the, the, the maximum point, that is the apex point in the, in the cylinder there. So there is that small volume that is left there. We call that the, what, the clearance volume. So it is the volume between piston when it is at the top dead center. Right. 
clearance volume, the volume between the cylinder and the piston when it is at the top dead center. Right, we are done with, the, with our definitions. From these, the, the types of IC engines, we are going to look at all of them. The two-stroke petrol engine, the four-stroke, the two-stroke diesel engine, and the four-stroke. But for today, we are only going to look at one of those types, which is the four-stroke petrol engine. That is what we are going to look at today. Right, now let's look at the four-stroke petrol engine. From this topic, it is straightforward. It has four-stroke. Right, these strokes are named, we are going to name them and then look at them one by one. The intake, compression, power, and the exhaust, and the exhaust stroke. Right, these are the four strokes the intake, the compression, the power, and the exhaust stroke. We are going to look at them one by one. Right, there is a, there is a way you can remember this easily. I will just teach you that way. The ICCP is ICPE. OCO. Right, having that only, you, we have summarized everything about the what the four-stroke petrol engine. Now let's look at them one by one. The I, this one, is, 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 is stands for the intake. The intake, or we sometimes we call it the induction stroke. The intake or the induction stroke. Right here, we are supposed to know what happens during the intake stroke. Right here, the intake valve is open. So the O here it stands for the, the open intake valve. Right, so it's the intake uh, stroke O stands for the, the open intake valve. So our intake valve there is open. What happens when the, the intake valve here, then the piston, the piston moves down. So the distance for the piston there. So you can just say these are our strokes. This is the nature of valves. Then this is the direction our piston moves. Right, so our piston moves down there. As our piston moves down, it creates a vacuum inside the cylinder. Right, that vacuum is going to force a fuel mixture into the what? Into the cylinder there. So we have got a fuel mixture. filling the cylinder there, right? This is what happens during the intake or the induction stroke. Then we move on to the compression stroke. During the compression stroke, already we said our piston moves down during the, what, the intake stroke. 
from the intake stroke, the next stroke will be the compression stroke. Our pistol now already it is at its what bottom uh, dead center there. So our piston will, will now move up to compress the what the our fuel air mixture there. So the piston moves up to compress. In this case, both our valves, both valves are, are closed. That is, remember we've got the intake and the exhaust stroke there. So our both our valves are, are closed. Then we come to the, the power stroke. Right? Uh, a spark from the spark plug ignites the fuel air mixture then combustion occurs then the gases expand. Right. Take note again. Here in the power in the power stroke, both our valves are what are closed. The intake valve and the exhaust valve are, are both closed there. Then what happens to our piston during the power stroke? Our piston will move down. Why will it move down? Because we now have uh, uh, expanded. Uh, gases inside the cylinder there. So our piston will what? It moves down. Then the last stroke, which is the exhaust. We have the exhaust stroke. What happens during the exhaust stroke? Uh, our piston moves up The, the exhaust fume through through the exhaust valve which is open right so this is just the summary of our, our strokes there, the intake, the compression, the power, and the exhaust. Right, next time when we meet, we are going to look at the, the two-stroke petrol engine. Thank you.